Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, following on from my previous Hidden Fates videos, I have another Raichu GX tin for you, which I'll be opening in today's video, as well as one of the newer released Mewtwo and Mew partnership tin. Because let's not forget, we do still have the Unified Mindset, which was released just before all this Hidden Fates crazy hype kicked off so i'll be opening that at the end of the video so please stick around if you're new here then hi thanks for joining don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell right so enough talking let's get into the opening Now, when I was editing this last time, I realized that I didn't give you the code card from the actual tin. I have high hopes for this tin as always. I'm looking to get some of the cards that I don't already have, especially the Mewtwo would be pretty cool to get right now. Um, I really shouldn't open like that, I've just seen something shiny. So yeah, as I was saying, I don't have the Mewtwo shiny GX, so I'm looking forward to getting, or hopefully I'm looking forward to trying to pull that one. In my last video, I did show my collection so far, so if you haven't checked that video out, please take a look because... Yeah, I'm gonna give a bit of a spoiler. I have pulled the Charizard card, so I am very grateful to have that. I'm very lucky and yeah, I'm excited to try and find some of the other cards that people seem to be pulling. Oh, yes! This is brilliant. I've wanted this card. This is one of the cards I wanted and everyone keeps pulling it and I didn't. Yes, I love Jesse and James. That's that is a brilliant start it's always the first pack that seems to be like a wicked pack from the tin yes i am so pleased about that let me just sleeve that up brilliant well pleased with that okay that is a great first pack next one charizard now I thought I could do all of the tin openings in one video, but then I kind of like the short five, six minute videos that they seem to be if you just do one tin. Plus it also means I can spread it out throughout the week and you have vids to videos to watch. I thought I did that upside down. Okay, Metapod, Sabrina. Psyduck, Charmander, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Ekans, and another Jesse and James. So Jesse and James themed opening today. So when I seem to open the packs from these tins, I get like a, a one really good card or, or one good card, and then the rest of the packs don't seem to have much. So it would be nice if I can break that theme that seems to be occurring because some people like literally get cards in every pack which would be amazing but you know I can't complain about my luck because it has been pretty good with this set in terms of the cards that I've pulled. I hope all of you are enjoying opening your Hidden Fates packs and are getting some really good pulls. Please feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what you've pulled from these packs so far. We've got a reverse Hollow Energy and a Vaporeon. Fairly common hollow, as is the Jesse and James one. So last pack is another Mewtwo pack. Let's see what we can get. Got Water Energy, Lieutenant Surge, Mist Determination, Scyther, Charmander, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Reverse Hollow, Voltorb, and a Snorlax. So my theme continues of me only pulling one card in these tins. 
So that's the one and only card poured from today's Write You Tin, but I'm pleased with that. Another one I, do, I don't have, so yeah, good times. Okay, so for the second part of the video, I will be opening the Partnership Power Tin. And I really wanted the promo card in this tin as it was in the original Japanese, I think it was the Sky Legend set and it was just in the set so you had to pull it to be able to to get it and obviously I didn't pull it so it's kind of good that it's as a promo card in this tin so if nothing else I'm glad that I got it although these tins are quite expensive they retail for about £25 in the UK so for four boosters and I think you get one of the metal counters it is quite expensive but We'll see if we get any good pulls. So let's open this tin. So just, I'm sure you've probably seen these tins by now, but that is the front and then the back of the tin there. There are two other designs, but as I'm, you know, I'm not overly fussed if I don't get them. Oh, that was loud. At least I get another storage tin, I suppose. Not that I've not got enough of those now, I keep buying the hidden fates. How do I open this? Okay. So there is the code. And what I love about this card as well is the texture on it is amazing and it's just really pretty artwork. So I'm super happy that I've now got this in my collection. Let's sleeve that up actually. I always forget to bring sleeves with me. Okay. There we go, that's that. Okay, so as I was saying, it is the like metal counter, so it is pretty sturdy. And then we've got four boosters, so there should be two unified mines. Um, yep, and Lost Thunder and an Evolutions. So let's open, let's open the Evolutions first been a while since I've opened any of these. Green code card. Not sure if that's correct, but we'll go with it anyway. We've got Charmeleon, Charizard Spirit Link, Ghastly, Magnemite, Seal, Charmander, Diglett, the Reverse Hollow Electabuzz, and an Electrode. So there we go, that's that pack. Next we'll do the Lost Thunder. Energy, Heracross, Fairy Charm, Skip Loom, Carbink, Blitzel, Onyx, Spinarak, Poplio, Reverse Hollow Breon, and a Dustox. So nothing too amazing yet. I've seen mixed reviews on the tins. A lot of the time they're not really pulling anything too exciting. There is the code card for that. So let's see what Unified Minds has to offer. So I did collect quite a lot of this set when it came out. Um, I feel like it's kind of been <laughs> forgotten about a bit since uh, Hidden Fates came out. So it's kind of nice to open something a bit different. All right, Cryogonal and a Gumshoes. Okay, so we're literally down to the last pack now. 
in the hopes that that may have something good in it. It is a new a Mewtwo pack. Maybe I bought a dud tin. Let's see. There's the code. I feel like this isn't going to yield very much. So, Dubblade, Channeler, Azel, Noibat, Seawaddle, Scaropi, Wimpod, Slakoth, Reverse Hollow Axew, and oh, and a Naganadel GX. I do believe I've got this one already. I did buy a booster box when the set was first released, so I think that was one of the common cards that tends to pop up in those boxes. But nonetheless, it's still a GX. Probably not the best one I could have pulled, but still, it's better than nothing. <laughs> but no, I am really pleased with this promo. This is gonna go into my collection because as I said before, the artwork is absolutely stunning. And that brings us to the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, if you've enjoyed the video, please check out my playlist of Hidden Fates Pokemon openings. So if you're interested, check those out. And I will see you all again shortly. Bye guys.